Good morning, folks. The bell rung. The major sunspot danced out of the corner and got knocked down with the first punch. Earth facing quiet took round one in a big way. We've also got an electroquake article and the second excellent study on space weather and human health in as many days. We've got weather as well, and let's go ahead and try to start off today with a positive feeling. Man and his dog successfully rescued as the monsoon sets into the west and flash flooding becomes a daily concern. Coming over to spaceweathernews.com, we're going to find an extremely calm day on our star given the large sunspots turning in and their activity on the far side. Indeed, the earth-facing quiet continues as solar flaring was higher before the sunspot actually came into view. The sunspot is struggling to even survive the earth-facing disk now as it's down to two umbral cores with expansive magnetic plague areas surrounding it. The only eruption of note yesterday came from a plasma filament north of the sunspots, minor eruption only, and not aimed at Earth. Solar wind. You can see the increased speed was mild at most. Remember from yesterday it was blocked by the coronal magnetic fields and geomagnetism is quite calm as well. No fields blocking this coronal hole however. Its intensified solar wind stream should probably arrive on Friday. Two can't miss articles today. First, electromagnetic precursors to earthquakes once again. Low frequency changes before seismicity has been observed many times before, but this fine detail study was ready to really look at the slight signals others had to filter out. We're talking less than 3 hertz. Up next, folks, for the second day in a row, I am happy to share an excellent confirmation of the space weather health story. This one, again, with the heart. Top takeaway is complete validation of the equilibrium. Both cosmic ray events and solar storm events pose increased risk. Just like with too little or too much water or oxygen, you cannot live, it appears that a balance struck between you and cosmic energy is at least a small part of the total health equation within you. There is no faster space weather reporting app on Earth, and none at all on the planet that deliver health alerts based on our star and solar storms. Our book has a chapter half dedicated to the topic of effects on your health, and it would be wise to just get the PDF copy at otf.cells.com and save any extra money. We've got your pressure and radar forecast, followed by null school and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 4.55 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.